Hope is critical to the human condition. Hope is what leads us to try. Hope makes us work hard towards a brighter future, a dream, something to hold on to. Or does it? In the words of Friedrich Nietzsche, Nietzsche, uh, hope in reality is the worst of all things because it prolongs the torments of man. Hope leads us to fail. Hope makes us work towards a darker future, a nightmare, something to let go of. There is something to be said about desperate people who are filled with hope. They're naive, susceptible to whatever convenient ideology is presented to them. In Germany during the Great Depression, it wasn't people filled with fear that were dangerous. It was the people filled with hope that they would get off of as their savior. Hope leads us to abandon reason. It leads us to stop thinking critically. Hope is a very dangerous thing to say to as Unitarian Universalists, we talk a lot about listening to our deeper selves, being open to life's gifts, and serving these where they are. We follow the seven principles, one of which is a search for truth and meaning. From profit to propaganda, everything we're exposed to is related to fallacies. So the question is, do we as Unitarian Universalists actually come closer to truth? You would think that different people would find their own truth, that in some ways, that is in some ways unique and different. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. It seems as if we all share the same truth, as if we've become a sort of collective rather than a congregation. I talked about this at the conference we hosted at this church. I said it was weird that in such a large community that claims to be open to new ideas, that almost everyone is very liberal. I had also said that it was strange that in a community where we were searching for truth, that no one had ever talked about things like climate engineering technology or using thorium for nuclear power. Climate engineering technology can be used to artificially cool the earth to reverse the effects of climate change. And thorium uh, could supply the entire earth with enough power to last a thousand years. And then 10 hours later, I got a front row seat to watch one of the ministers talk about how we needed to think of ourselves as part of Earth and that we couldn't control her, which isn't actually true. What I'm saying is that hope makes us believe things that aren't true, that we wouldn't normally believe. Hope makes us blind to ideas that don't support what we currently believe. So if there was one thing I would say gets in the way of that search for truth and meaning, it would be hope. 